years ago. England was filled with mystical creatures that could live for hundreds of years and roam the countryside to help nature fulfill her duties. Trolls, fairies, giants and pixies, each with their own job to maintain the balance of nature. I was lucky enough to stumble across one of these creatures, the last pixie. When I was a little girl, I became lost deep within the woods, separated from my parents. I was alone. Well, that's what I thought at first. This was where the last pixie found me. She showed me the path back to my family and how to find her again. I would visit her whenever we passed by the woods. She would share stories of the magical world and I would tell her my problems. Every time I left the pixie, all my problems would have been solved. How? Did the pixie fix them? Maybe. Magic works in mysterious ways. Good night, Jenny. You're on my land. I'm, I'm, I'm just here looking for some creatures. My mum told me about them ages ago and I, I just thought I'd come and see them. Please just, just put the shotgun down. You'll think I'm stupid. But I'm here looking for pixies. My mum told me that when she was younger, she used to come down to these woods and she would speak to them and they would be able to solve any problem that she had. Pixies. There ain't nothing I haven't hunted in these woods. I've never heard of no pixies. Right? You can go looking for your pixies. But I'm coming with you. No, are you going to kill them? Neither come with you or you don't go at all. You know much about folk tale? Um, a little. My mum would know. She used to tell me stories when I was younger. But it's, it's all she talks about nowadays. Mm. Well, I'm glad to hear someone remembers the stories. It's all she remembers. Oh, what fantastic tales to remember. Well, they say that all things living can communicate with one another. It doesn't need to be through words or hand signs and noises. You, you just know what nature is saying if you let it in. Do you ever feel alone? No. Uh, no, never. Nature always feels familiar. You know, it's a bit like how a dog can always remember its owner's smell. You always feel welcomed when you step alongside it. Look at that. That is nature talking to you. <laughs> Come on, let's go. So, uh, what type of animals have you come across on your land? Uh, I've got many trophies on my wall. Uh, foxes, badgers, deer. 
Uh, the sorts of things you'd expect from this land, hey? I just don't get it. <laughs> How can you say that you're so in touch with nature, but then you kill animals for sport? Even though I hunt the animals in my land, I do not waste them. Do not eat from a supermarket. I hunt and I farm my own resources. Truly living off the land. I respect the land that feeds me. I feel a part of it. And I know when to leave it alone. I know you're here, Pixie. I'm Jenny. Jenny Campbell. Daughter of Sophie Campbell. She needs your help. I need your help. She's forgetting everything, but she remembers you. The Pixie. Pixie, that was Zeva. Jenny, turn around. <laughs> to your feet. That pool is forbidden to human souls. If you fell in that, you would have been stripped of your memories and left as a lifeless shell. I know the woods are magical. I also know they're dangerous. Don't usually let people enter for their own safety, but felt like you had a right to see them. It's just after the stories that my mom told me, I I just had to see them. I really hope that they'd be able to make her better again. <sighs> Give her her memory back. I guess they were just stories after all. How do you know about that? They gave her a memory to hold on to. And by the sounds of things, they helped you as well. You know they're real. 